My name is Jean-Claude Wicks. I'm a former Staff Sergeant in the United States Air Force. Uh, I served from 1994 until 2003. I was a jet engine mechanic and crew chief on F-16s, and that's where I got my tinnitus, and I've been living with it ever since. In my particular case, um, versus some of the veterans coming back from the war today, for me it was more industrial noise. It was just a hazard of the job. Um, you know, when you're required to repair and test the jet engines and then go out and launch the aircraft, sometimes when you're deployed 15 hours a day, seven days a week, um, you're around aircraft, they're generating anywhere between 110 to 160 plus decibels. Um, it's, a, it's a, lot of, a lot of background noise. Now, it's not like we weren't given protection. You know, they gave us earplugs and we had earmuffs to wear and stuff like that. But even those will only knock out about 30, 40, 45, if you're lucky, decibels. And um, I spent a lot of time in the test bay, or what we call the hush house, testing the engines after they were newly rebuilt. Um, we had a bioenvironmental person come in and do a sound survey to see how we were doing with that. And we spiked their meter at 150 decibels. When we go out for afterburner repairs, they try to minimize how many how many minutes you spend out there. But I can remember the longest amount of time I've spent with the afterburner running, uh, trying to find a leak or something like that was about three, three and a half minutes. So if you're looking at 50 decibels, minus 45, that's still 105. Uh, I mean, if you're in a, a war situation and uh, an IED goes off and you survive because you're wearing body armor, uh, that's a wonderful thing, but the problem is your ears are probably couldn't have been protected, so you're going to have noise-induced hearing loss, and with it, you're going to get tinnitus. Um, and and so the numbers that are coming back from Iraq, just from the soldiers, of people with hearing issues are, are very very high, and the VA is trying to figure out how they're going to deal with that right now. I think initially, I dealt with it like any like any other good little soldier would. You know, you just rock up and move on you find a way to cope with it. However, however you manage to cope with it, you find a way to cope with it. Um, I started sleeping with a TV on, or I would run a fan. Anything to make it so that there was just enough noise to drown out the ring. In my particular case, it's more of like a really high-pitched whine um, all the time. Doesn't matter, and the quieter the environment around me, the louder it is. So I, th I think pretty much I, I've learned to either keep myself busy enough to keep it off my mind or generate some kind of noise in the background. Like my office uh, where I work now, I, I've got a water fountain on my desk. Just something for enough white noise to let it, to let it drown out the, the ring.